Now that I've talked about confidence intervals for population proportions, I can actually talk about how to calculate what sample size you'll need to do certain things. So remember that confidence intervals are just a point estimate, plus or minus, a margin of error. Like below, we have our sample proportion, plus or minus our whole thing that is the margin of error. We can actually calculate what sample size we'll need to have a certain margin of error that we specify. So let me give you an example of what we're doing here. In the last lecture, I had this. In a recent poll of 200 households, it was found that 152 households had at least one computer. Estimate the proportion of households in the population that have at least one computer. And then construct a 95% confidence interval to estimate the population proportion. Now, I already went through this whole thing with an example, if you want to look that up, but we found out that we were 95% confidence that the proportion of households in the population with at least one computer was between 0 0.701 and 0.819. Really what we found was that our point estimate was 0.76 plus or minus a margin of error of 0.059. But now we can ask, okay, what size sample would I need to change the margin of error from 0.059 to 0.030 in a 95% confidence interval? So we have this, and we can actually calculate that. There's two different equations. One of them, if we have a prior estimate of the population proportion, and in the second one, if we don't. So remember that our estimate of the population proportion was 0 0.76. If we already had that estimate, we'd use the first equation. But if I had no idea, if we didn't even have that number, if we had no expectation of the population, we would use the second equation. And this is how I would solve for both of them in this case. In the first one, I knew that we had 0 0.76. I knew that the margin of error, E, was 0 0.030 because that's what we wanted. And you can see that for Z alpha divided by 2, I put in 1.96. This is because we're constructing a 95% confidence interval using Z. If you're unfamiliar with why I used 1.96, you can look at one of the previous lectures on just how Z scores work. So in the first example, I find out that we would need a sample size of 779. I'm rounding up because, you know, there's no half of a person. We need 779 people in order to have a margin of error of 0 0.030. And if we didn't have that prior estimate, we'd actually need 1,068 people in order to have a margin of error of 0 0.30. And that's how you calculate what sample size you would need to get an acceptable margin of error.